the book no one ever read. Every book longs to tell its story from the moment they're born. They, they wait for fingers to open them up. Do they? Well, books are as different as people. Some are adventurers and want many readers, while others have forgotten they once longed to tell their stories. The library Mori lived in was full of such books. Mori was only five years old. That is very young for a book. But he thought that fa five years are an awfully long time to just sit on a shelf. So one day, he pushed himself forward just a few inches. And where do you think you're going? asked Victor. He was very proud of the gold on his spine. Yes, where are you going? asked Jane. But, I, but I'm bored, Maury exclaimed. No one ever reads us. Well, lucky us, ex exclaimed Nets from a shelf above. No fingerprints on our pages. No cracks. No bent corners. Yes, whispered Beatrix. One heart, one hears ter terrible things. Books left open for days and days weeks even she went on and on pages smeared with coffee and chocolate the others moaned after each sentence oh that's terrible said maury but not as terrible as nothing happens ever i want fingerprints on my pages I want to be read until I come apart. Oh, the moaning and the rustling that filled the library. Quiet, all of you, shouted the Domas, who claimed you who claimed you could learn fencing just by reading him. The young one is right. I would love to leave, but I am so old. I guess my spine would come off. Leave? asked Mori. How? Well, why don't you jump? Victor said. And before Mori could say, wait, Victor pushed, pushed him off the shelf with a little help from Jane. Luckily, Maury landed on his back. The other books stared down at him in horror. Well, actually, some of them looked quite pleased. And just when Maury got up, the woman who dusted their, their pages walked in. Maury gathered all his courage and slipped through the door. Freedom! Maury ran and ended up on top of a huge staircase. 
He stepped closer when something furry jumped at him. Something furry with claws. And Maury fell. He fell down all the stairs. Oh, it hurt. He landed in front of two slippers and suddenly there were fingers and eyes. The fingers were slightly sticky, but oh, it was wonderful. The fingers wrote a name on Maury's first page, and the eyes re re read all the words he'd kept for so long inside, and Maury was so happy. The end. The book no one ever read.